The Grace Ananda Recreation Center in Fairfield is a go-to hangout spot for high school senior Sai Pulapintula. He rides his bike to and from the Maharshi International University campus facility using an uphill pathway that leads to the building's entrance. Yeah, I've ridden my bicycle up that gravel path several times and when you when you apply your, the brakes you tend to have you lose um friction so you fall and i was thinking of the other people who go on this gravel path i just thought that you know it's a very concerning issue so i decided to take action on it Sai, a senior patrol leader with the boy scouts of america is just days away from earning his eagle scout certification it's the highest rank boy scouts can earn and in order to achieve the highly coveted title members must complete a service project in their community i was going through topics with my scout masters and they were saying you know you could do this you could do that and um, I think it was my scoutmaster who told me that, you know, you could do something with the rec center. Sai designed a pathway at the university's rec center that would make it easier and safer for visitors to enter and leave the building. Then he pitched his idea to university officials. We came to an agreement together, uh, which one of his plans uh, seemed to be the most beneficial, I would say, to all the potential constituents using the sidewalk. The project's total estimated cost is $8,000. He actually brought the price of the sidewalk down a little bit because he volunteered to do some of the work himself. Sai set up a GoFundMe campaign online and has already raised more than $4,000. University officials have agreed to match that amount. Contractors started pouring concrete earlier this week. And the project is actually halfway done now. Next, Sai says crews will install railings along the path. I'm happy that I got a chance to build it. And more than me being happy, I want to see other people use it and, you know, feel safe when they're walking up. Reporting in Fairfield, Iowa, Beth Walden, KTVO News.